Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about faceted search in Oracle Apex. Let's get into agenda. We'll try to understand what is this faceted search, sample demo, and how we can add up additional facets explicitly. So as for the dictionary meaning here, if you observe what exactly it means is that it allows any page which allows a different set of search criteria for a user to get the result. That's what it is all about. If you observe Amazon website, right, left side, you'll get a lot number of search functionalities like a less than, greater than, range, amount, product, company, the different set of search functionalities which are provided in a page that is called Fester Search. Okay. And as per Oracle Apex, so this is one kind of a report which provides this particular functionality. And uh, when you have a page design using Fester Search, it has two portions. One is a search criteria and the other one is a result details. Okay. And let's see how we can create it. So to create a facet search, right? What we have to do, like what are the options you have to select, right? So while creating workspace, you can create a page or after creation of a workspace also you can create a page. So here, if you observe, you just need to select create page in that you have an option called faceted search, select that, click on next. And you just need to mention what is the page name you want to have it and what is the data source you have to select, whether it is a data source based on local database or a REST enabled SQL service or REST data source. And the source type can be either database table or you can have select SQL query. So in this example, I have selected OEHR and for employees. Once you select the data source, you just click on next. And now by default, once you select next, it shows a list of columns which are available in your particular data source. And it provides like uh, the facet here, if you observe, right? By default, based on the data type, which you have it, whether it considers as a checkbox or a range automatically. So you can later change it, but generally what happens is based on the data type, it simply selects checkbox or a range based on the value. So, and also it provides a selection option. You can select it or unselect it, or you can later change it also. And display type, we have two types. One is a report, other one is card fashion. The report is nothing but it displays the data in a table fashion. A card means like it displays a card set of kind of functionality in the page. Okay, so once you select create page, this is how the page structure looks like. And here, if you observe, the initial one is a search. Under this, we have a, these number of facets. And last one, you have a reset option. And like uh, under the facet, you have a different set of facets, right? One, two, three, uh, total six facets we have it. And if, if at all, if you want to create an additional facet, you just need to select this particular region and you have to create a facet. So this is a, a simple page structure after creation of the page. Now, once you click on run page, this is how the page looks like. So this particular one, the table region, which I have highlighted, this is a table region and which has all the columns from your table. And the left side is the search criteria. And now here, if you observe, it shows a job, manager, department. Of course, it has some more other facets. And in this one, these, these set of search criteria, we call them as facets. And here, if you click on this particular icon, it shows two options. One is a filter as well as search criteria. Okay. Now, so like um, this all, how a facet looks like, right? So now what we do is before creation of additional facet manually, what, what we just try to understand how do we create this particular page in Oracle Apex. So let's see the live demonstration. So I'll go to Oracle Apex instance. The first and foremost important thing is the data set or nothing but the table which I'm selecting is based on the sample schema which Oracle Apex provided. If you don't have this one, what you can do is just click on SQL workshop utilities and click on manage sample data set and try to install this HR data, okay? And of course, if you don't have it also, you can create your facet search page based on the available table, but I prefer this is a, a very good example to work on with. So once that is ready, what you can do is click on app builder, click on create. Now I'm just creating a workspace, click on new application, sorry, not workspace application. So click on, click on new application. Now I'll just say, I set app and now you can either click on add page or once your app is ready also you can do it. We'll just try to create after the app is ready, right? I'll just click on create application. You can just run the application. Yep. Right, our app is ready, right? As of now, there are no pages in this one. Now what we do is, I'll click on create page. 
now we'll select which component we want to select we want to select a faceted search select this one and now you can mention the page name facet search demo and here i'll go with the data source local database source type table and the table name i'll select from this particular option so you just select ohr underscore employees and click on next and see the list of columns which are selected for the face search and here if you observe as of now salary is not selected and last name is also not selected let it be by default let us see how it looks like we don't want to change anything here simply click on create page okay Okay, now it shows six facets, right? And now this is called facet, right? And here, if you observe, this is a checkbox group, and this is a checkbox group, and the checkbox group. And here, if you observe the amount, the percentage, it is a range one, and the first name is a another checkbox group, right? Now, just simply click on run page. And now, this is how our page looks like, right? Now let us say I want to display all the employees who belong to accountant job. I'll just select here. It displays only the job employees who belong to accountant group. And in that, if you observe, there are a set of employees, right? Whose manager is Nancy, right? All the employees where the accountant has job as accountant, the manager is Nancy, and they are belong to finance department. Let us say if you want to select all the employees whose first name is Daniel, right? I'll select this one. Now, as of now, it shows only one employee. Let us say I'll just, Remove this filter and see how it looks like. Now I'll select all the employees whose name is David, right? So it shows, and now I have selected both, right? David and Daniel. Now let us see if you want to clear it, you can click on clear it, right? Now, other option you have, you have it, right? So you can just see here. And within that, let us say, you know, like if you're, if the data set, what you have in the job is very much huge, what you can do, you can just simply type it, right? Like this, you can type it. Right now, I want to select all the employees whose job is sales representative as well as sales manager. And this is how I can select. Okay. Now, other thing which we have in the facet is like you have an option called chart. Right. You can just select show chart. It displays the employees based on this particular job type. Right. For each particular job, how many employees you have it. That's how it displays. Right. So this is the default functionality of showing a facet facet search page. Right. Now, what we want to do is let us say, as of now here, if you observe, we don't have a facet based on the last name, right? Let us add that, okay? So before that, what you want to do is just let us see the columns which are there in the table, right? We want to create a facet, but you know, like how it works based on the database table, which you selected. So I'll just say, select star from. Right? And now the column name is last underscore name, right? Now in the facet, I'll just perform a right click, click on create facet. Now mention the facet name, P2 underscore, last underscore name. And now type, as of now it is a where care or character. So better we have to go with the checkbox group. And now list of values, what do you want to do? You want to select it from the SQL query. Sorry, distinct values, right? So we can get the data like a uh, distinct values by default, nothing but the list of based on the distinct values which you have in the table, it gets it, it gets them automatically. We don't need to type anything here, right? Very simple. And scroll down and you can see the data source, database column name, it automatically mentioned last underscore name. But if at all the last, if the column name is not last underscore name, you have to change it appropriately. But how does it got the data source name is because generally what happens in Oracle of Access based on the page number, like uh, nothing P2 is a page number. And after that you have a column name, right? So that's how it generally identifies that whatever you mentioned after your param after page name is a column name. If it is different, you have to change it right now. Nothing to change as of now, we can just simply click on run the page and see how it looks like. And you can see that last name. So I have, let us say, I'll select Grant. So there are two employees whose last name is Grant, right? So this is how we can add up a new facet for which the data type is varchar, right? Now, let us see one more example, like how do we add up another facet based on the data type range, right? Now, if you observe commission percentage, I want to see all the employees whose commission is between 0.15 to 0.2. Right. Let us say I want to see all the employees whose salary is in a particular range. Let us see that. So on the facet, right click here, click on new facet. And 
check the column name for salary. Salary column name is S A L A R Y. So preferably, I'll mention that salary. And here it is a range. Now scroll down, scroll down, and list of values. So it'll say static values. So here, what we want was it want to display it as a range, right? So nothing but we have to manually select them. We have to mention them manually. So what do you want to display? Let us say, I want to display, I want to display all the, I mean, different set of ranges. So first range is, let us say, 1,000. Display all the employees whose salary is 1,000. So I'll just select mention like this. And now the next option of what I want to select is, I want to display all the employees whose salary is between 1,000 to 5,000. So I'll mention like this, 1,000, piping symbol, 5,000. Next one, greater than 5,000. Okay, that's it. Now click on okay and let's run it. Okay, so why we got this error? Because we have to change the data type. By default, it may have, it may consider it as a varchar, but you have to change it. So select here and click on number. And it mentioned the error, right? It, the range is supported only for numbers. Okay, let's see that. Now what we do, first of all, clear this one. And now we have two ranges. Let us say if you want to display all the employees whose salary is less than 1,000, select this one. OK. And 1,000 to 5,000. Yep. So this is how we can add up a new facet based on the number data type. Okay, so this is all about facet demo in Oracle Apex. Thank you.